How's it going everyone? My name is Spencer, AKA Agent Mulder, and welcome to The War Room. Today, we continue our journey through Bleeding Edge by taking a look at three brand new characters, Gizmo, Buttercup, and Maeve. I'll be diving into these characters' unique abilities, how I use them, and which supers I've chosen for them. If you're new to this video series or the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on the little bell icon to be notified of new content uploaded every week. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Let's kick things off with Gizmo. Now Gizmo is an excellent support class character packing a heavy machine gun for long range attacks. Her unique abilities consist of tossing a heavy explosive in any area that you choose, dropping little automated machine gun turrets that look like teddy bears, and a jump pad for quick escapes or to get the drop on your opponent. Her heavy explosive is best used on opponents that are grouped up together or if they're giving pursuit to you. The explosion alone will knock them back a bit, giving you some breathing room. I recommend using this ability whenever an enemy is making a charge at you. Some of the best times to use these automated turrets is when you're on top of capture points. These automated turrets, along with your heavy machine gun, do an immense amount of damage on your opponent, especially if it's one versus one. These turrets can be used for a variety of ways besides just capture points. They can be used to support your team during a heavy offensive, whenever you're outnumbered two against one, or when you need these turrets to watch your back when you're picking up health or power cells. These turrets alone make Gizmo a deadly threat on the field. And finally, her little jump pad is excellent whenever you're surrounded by multiple enemies and low on health and need to make a quick escape. Now the super ability I've chosen for her is Mini Mech. The Mini Mech, once activated, puts Gizmo in a large mech to roam around the battlefield with. This mech not only gives Gizmo extra armor and health, but adds even more insane firepower to an already impressive arsenal. Provided you're either backing up your teammates or getting assistance from a healer, you should be able to take down at least one opponent at full health before your mech runs out of power. Gizmo, at the end of the day, is an excellent heavy support class character. You will most likely see her on the battlefield almost every time you play, and for good reason. Trust our rough might. Speaking of another decent character, let's talk about Buttercup. Now, Buttercup to me is a jack of all trades character. She can be used both in support and frontline roles. Her special abilities consist of throwing a spike chain that will automatically grab onto whatever target you choose, pulling them back to you, pulling out two blades that she'll swing around in rapid succession doing damage to any opponents that surround her, and finally dropping oil on the ground that will slow down anyone who steps in it. I highly recommend that Buttercup is always supporting another character. Albeit she can get around the map very quickly and is ideal for getting capture points on her own, Taking on multiple fires by herself, she'll be taken down relatively quickly. So do play Buttercup in a more of a supportive role when you get the opportunity. So the one super I roll with this character with is called Burnout. Burnout is excellent whenever Buttercup is surrounded by multiple foes. When Burnout is activated, she will spin around in a circle punching back all opponents that are too close to her. This is ideal to use whenever you're trying to push them away from capture points or trying to help out an opponent who's surrounded by multiple foes. Again, Buttercup is best utilized in a group of fighters instead of venturing out on her own. And another great character that can team up with Buttercup is Maeve. Now Maeve is a ranged character that casts spells on her opponents. Some of her abilities consist of dropping a giant bird cage that prevents any foe from going anywhere for a short period of time, turning herself invisible for quick escapes, and finally her ability to suck the life out of her opponents provides she can stay alive long enough to do so. Maeve, believe it or not, can hold her own pretty well. If you focus all three of your abilities on one opponent, your opponent's gonna find themselves on low health really quickly. And because Maeve is a ranged character, she's easily one of the best characters to hunt down other opponents with who are low on health. Use your bird cage to keep opponents at a distance while you zap them with your magic. Another good thing to combo this with is the life drain ability. This ability will drain the life of your opponent at a steady pace, provided you can stay alive long enough. Keep in mind, you are helpless while this ability is activated. Again, if the situation gets too dangerous, just simply pop her invisibility and you're free to make a run for it. Now Maeve in my opinion has one of the most destructive supers in the game. When activated, Maeve begins to chant a spell as she begins to gather up energy in a ball. When the spell is complete, whatever target you've locked on, she will launch this ball of energy that will home in on its target. Not only will this ball do devastating damage to your opponent, but any of his allies that are too close will also get the brunt of this explosion. I've seen this super take down an opponent's health by half when they've re-entered a match at full strength. Maeve is an excellent support class character, and if you like to keep your distance and cast spells, I highly recommend you give her a try. And that's all the time we have today, folks. I hope you've enjoyed our series on Bleeding Edge so far. We'll be dropping more videos on your favorite games as the weeks and months go on, so feel free to stick around, and if you've enjoyed the content, feel free to like, share, and subscribe for a lot more. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.